afternoon. This is my friend, Miss Maya B. She is nine years old, and she is a blue and gold macaw. She has the probability of living to about 60 years old, and she is my buddy. And I didn't know anything about her before I acquired her, but we've had a very short love affair for nine years. And she loves to do everything with me. She, she would love to eat with me, sleep with me, everything. She likes to take showers with me. She loves to check out what I'm eating and test it. And she loves to get into things. Everything I want her not to do, she wants to do. Hello. I'm also not sure that she's going to say anything because I'd really like her to. But in the evenings is when she gets very vocal and she says some things like, hello. And if I don't answer, if I'm down the hall, she'll say, hello. <laughs> hello. And I've been told that when I'm not home, she says things in my voice, which is kind of, kind of odd. But I have taught her to say, I love you, when she has a nut. And in the evening, she likes to strut around and say, what you doing? What you doing? What you doing? But I call her my beautiful chicken. And I just, I talk to her like, like she knows exactly what I'm talking about. And she loves to dance. And she dances kind of like Stevie Wonder. And she really gets into it. And she's been getting into the music so far. And the music to come, she will love it. So I'm going to read you a little poem about a bird. <laughs> bird crazy is what they call me, and parrots are my game. This name I've been given is an honor, not a shame. <laughs> I love them, I care for them, I come for two, and also with humans I teach them to follow through. <laughs> when I bought this lovely creature, what I didn't know was just how smart she was, or how my life would go. Sometimes they bite, sometimes they scream. They make lots of messes, too. Another thing to remember is they'll probably, they'll probably outlive you. Parrots are wild creatures, but still live in homes, you see. They depend on us to give them all the things they need. They need to have their showers, and don't forget the doctors, too. They cannot live on seed alone, though sadly some do. <laughs> they need love and understanding when they're scared or hurt or sad. They do not understand when we're tired, stressed, or mad. We must always remember they were meant to be free. We must give them more than just a cage, for they'd really like a tree. So when you take a parrot home, please keep these things in mind. It's up to you to understand and always to be kind. Ladies and gentlemen. Miss Maya B. Some birds are red. Some birds are blue. You're my angel. Whatever you do, give mommy kisses. 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 Kisses and step up. Kisses and step up. Come on. Come on. Kiss. Step. Step up. It's okay. It's okay. Step up. All right. Let's hear from Miss Carl Ryder. Thank you.